If you're wondering who Super Flower is and you're, you know, wondering why I'm doing a review, well, you should definitely stick around as they're a pretty awesome brand and definitely worth some time. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So, this is the Superflower LEDX Gold 550 watt. It's a 80 plus gold power supply, um, fully modular, and uh, by the way, Superflower is a brand that are sort of OEM, so uh, very similar to what Seasonic do with people like Corsair, so they make, uh, Superflower make the power supplies, which then other companies with bigger brands put their stickers on. So uh, it's a pretty good quality power supply, and a lot of people trust it, so that's pretty awesome. So here's the specs and the sort of numbers that uh, they suggest, so um, you know, take your pick if that's what you're interested in, but uh, basically it's a fairly nice fully modular power supply. On the rear you do get a relatively proprietary connector type, so uh, you get the motherboard connector, or the, or the 24 pin connector, which plugs in via two large connectors on the sort of top left, depending on which way you're looking at it, and then everything else, including the 8 pin, the PCI and the SATA connectors, are all part of this universal connector which is actually really really nice and very simple and very easy to work with. You also get an auto and eco switch which are fairly obvious in what it does um, but on the back you get some nice ventilation and as you can see it does kind of only have the screws to go in uh, you know in a certain way um, but generally your case has the compatibility to turn it around uh, and you know secure it anyway. Um, you also get an embossed Superflower logo so if you want to put this fan up uh, you can see that logo if you want to put it fan down you'll see the efficiency charts and stuff. Now inside the box you'll get a kettle lead, uh, so in my case UK kettle lead. Um, you'll also get the 24 pin with the proprietary or the, the sort of fully wider connector, a 8 pin CPU connector, a, a dual 6 plus 2 pin connector and a single 6 plus 2 pin connector, two 4.4 connector SATA cables, a sort of two port SATA two port Molex cable and a full four port Molex cable. You also get the cool bag with, to uh, sort of store all the cables you're not using. Now as I said earlier to connect the, this uh, all the cables up is actually really simple and very nice. The fact that the 24 pin can only go in one place but then everything else can go anywhere you like is a really nice way of doing it and it means that it's very simple to build a PC with literally you know all of your cables just connecting wherever you want them to and however you need them. Also, if you're only using, you know, a single graphics card and, you know, uh, a couple of hard drives, it's actually very easy to just use the cables on the right, so if you're doing fan up, it's very easy to cable manage. Anyway, here's my thoughts. So just a quick explanation as to why this is a uh, overview and not a review. Um, I don't have thousands of pounds worth of power supply testing equipment, so I can't test the ripple voltage from the, 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 the outputs, I can't test the actual voltage level, I can't test the, the amperage range, I can't test the wattage, so um, just bear that in mind that this is more my thoughts and opinions on it from what I've seen so far, but it's not a full review because I can't validate how effective it is. But anyway, nonetheless, um, just a quick explanation of Superflower as well, they're an OEM so they basically make the power supplies that other people put their stickers on um, and I believe that o OCZ and XFX are some of those companies. They also actually uh, OEM for a lot of other people as well. Um, and also overclockers.co.uk use their uh, use Superflower power supplies and all the systems they build. So it's certainly a, uh, a well respected brand at this point um, if you haven't heard of them. So the key thing with this one for me is that even though it's 550 watts, it's fully modular, which is really nice. It feels quite a feels like quite a beefy power supply, so um, it's probably running in a more efficient range, and it's actually 80 plus gold as well, so that's awesome. And um, yeah, one of the key things for me is that uh, it just has so much connectivity. There, uh, I think there's something like four eight-pin power connectors, as well as the you know CPU, the two eight-pin CPU connectors you can possibly have, 24-pin, lots of SATA and Molex and stuff. So it's a really nice you know connectivity range. For me, um, the fact that there is a very proprietary connector on the power supply to connect the, the cable to um, isn't necessarily that much of a problem, mostly because it comes with uh, you know all the cables you could possibly need. Um, and, and all the cables you can plug in and uh, that's kind of fine with me also the cables are actually quite nice so that's that's kind of cool too but um, yeah I mean it's just a, a nice power supply it's fairly quiet it seems to be very nice and obviously if uh, so many people are using them um, I doubt that they are that bad so uh, yeah I definitely recommend if you're looking for a new power supply or are you looking to build a new system and you're trying to work out you know a, a relatively cheap but very effective and uh, just decent power supply then check out Superflower because they're actually pretty awesome. 
So, um, I think that pretty much covers it. I mean, I don't really want to add too much else, so I think that's it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to Overclockers for sending over the, uh, the power supply. And, uh, yeah, check out some of our other videos. Check out Facebook and Twitter for um, all of our, you know, updates and when videos and come out and stuff like that. So feel free to subscribe for more tech. We've also got a lot of more, a lot more original content, which is awesome. And uh, also check out Yoya Tech if you want to buy any cool systems. So, you know, um, PC hardware and, and stuff like that, or just general full-on systems. They've got an RV10, which is really nice. Check that out. Other than that, um, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.